Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria, and guys, today oh, we are gonna be finally diving in to some month-end favorites. Now, for those of you that are die-hard watchers of these videos, you might notice that I did not put one up last month, and that is not on accident. That was completely intentional, because guys, I'm just gonna be straight honest with you, there was really nothing that I just loved in that month. Like, I looked back when, I, when October, the beginning of October came around, and I was just like, crickets. Like, I don't hear nothing that's really calling my name. Like, there were one or two products that I loved that I used a ton, but they were things that I've already talked about a million times. And so I didn't feel right putting out a favorites video when I either would have been coming up with products that I really hadn't been using a ton, or I would have been talking about things that I've already talked about at length. And so I just didn't put one up. I hope that's cool with you guys. But um, coming into this month, that's not the case, because there actually have been a few things that I have just been diehard loving, and some of them I've talked about before, some of them I haven't. And I thought it would be kind of cool to just dive in and tell you guys really what I have been enjoying. Uh, but your girl's got to put her hair back first because I'm having like a fibro moment. All right, so, you know, it's not perfect, but I think it'll work. We're going to have like these cute little baby mullet hairs down here, but you know, what are you going to do about those? Um, let's go ahead though first and dive into a couple of things that were actually sent to me. The second one is going to be PR, which I'll get to in a second. But the first one I want to talk about is actually from Lainage, and this is one that I have been so curious about and a bunch of you guys have asked me about because you know that I love their lip sleeping mask, but I actually had this entire trio sent over from Octoly, which I'll throw a picture of the trio up on the screen here. And it is actually, I'm pulling up the name, it's their Kiss Me All Day um, Lip Kit, and it retails for $35. And again, they sent me the entire kit, which has the berry, the pear, and the peach in it. And guys, I was so excited when I was accepted for this one on Octoly, because if you don't know how much I love their little lip sleeping mask, the one in the little pink tube, whoo loaded, guys. That is one of my favorite, 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 favorite all-time things that I, like, I use it literally every day. I I have one in here, I have one in my bathroom, and I have one in my office. Like, I keep them everywhere. For me, part of getting this kit was really wanting to learn about the formula and play around with it. And again, I just want to say, like, they sent this to me, complimentary for my honest review. I hate it. I say I hate it. If I love it, I say I love it. Like, it's nothing to wear just because they send it to me. They want me to say a certain thing. But these did come in to me about two weeks ago, and normally, if I've only been using something for two weeks, it wouldn't make this video. Like, I like to use stuff for a lot longer before I consider it a favorite. But these, I have been, like, it's sh It's actually, it's kind of sad. I have been using these every day, all day, for two weeks. So I feel like that kind of qualifies them as far as how long I've actually used them. Like we're talking morning, noon, and night, going to bed. I've put this on like constantly just to really test it out. And I think for me, if I had to like best describe this, I would say it's not a glowy balm. I would say it's more of a glossy balm. This is like if you took a regular lip gloss, a gloss you've already known and loved and like it has that nice, really thin consistency, but you turned it into a balm consistency, like that thicker, um, when you apply it, you can like feel it more so on your lips, that is this. And the only reason I make that distinction is for those of us out there that have like that discomfort, like what I had going on right here with um, sometimes things are too thick or too textured or too scented or the way that things actually feel on your skin or on your lips or what have you. Um, this is one of those consistencies where when you go to squeeze it out, it is thicker, but it sits beautifully on the lips. I'm actually wearing it right now. And I really do like the formula. For me, I really have been enjoying it and I would purchase this again, like with my own money. The other thing I want to mention that was sent to me. This was in PR and it was from Good Molecules right here and this is their instant cleansing balm and this stuff is fantastic. Now before I go into too much detail I do want to say a couple of things. Number one they did get a hold of me and they said hey can we send you some of our stuff and I was like well absolutely I love skincare and they sent me this and um, some face oils and I believe a serum as well. But as far as me using this goes I have used it a ton in the last two weeks. Like I have made quite a dent in there. And guys, this stuff is fantastic. I love the emolliency of it. I love the way that it removes the makeup. It actually goes into your hand and it is so thin in consistency. Like as you do this and you kind of work it onto your hands to start the massaging process, it becomes like the most weightless removing makeup oil I have ever used. And I love that. Like that is probably my favorite aspect because when it comes to a balm like this for removing makeup, one of my biggest pet peeves is when it's so thick and you can't like manipulate it very well, it drives me nuts. And along those same lines, the other thing that I can't typically stand with balms that I love about this is that it doesn't leave that weird like on your face, like that weird 
like oily film on it you know like how you're trying to wipe it off you're trying to wipe your makeup off and it feels like no matter how much you wipe girl like it's never coming off it's there for the rest of your actual life and I love that this doesn't do that it just goes on to the skin and it, you do 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 you do your thing and as you wipe it away like it actually comes off it doesn't leave any weird residue now the only thing about this that I don't love is the smell it is a very very overwhelming like is it rose or I don't know what it is, but it's an incredibly strong smell, and I think for me that's like the only drawback. Now I will say to that side of things, I have a very acute sense of smell. Like I can smell, girl, I can smell anything a mile away. Like it hits me like a bag of bricks in the face. And uh, this is definitely very, very pungent in that sense. But if scent doesn't bother you, I think the formula is really nice. I love the way that it removes makeup. So for this, I'm absolutely obsessed. Again, I've used it a ton. I really like it. And huge, huge shout out, thank you to Good Molecules for sending it over. Your girl really likes it. Yes. So next up, we are. Going to talk about my current foundation routine and this is something I've talked about quite a bit on Instagram so if you've seen it there I apologize but guys this combo right here Girl, it has been it for me. I love this so much. This is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. I have it in light 5N, and I mix it in with the Catrice um, HD Full Coverage Liquid Foundation that I have in the shade 010 Light Beige. And the reason that I started using this combination is because I love this. I love what it does for coverage. It looks amazing on my skin, but it does pull more on like the matte side of things. It's not overly matte, but it is more matte. And so I needed to find a way to still use it because I do love it. Um, with my skin being the way that it is now, which is more combo. Sometimes it's like even dry, like on my cheeks or around my mouth. And I'm still oily, like in my T-zone and stuff. But again, over here, it's just, it's been kind of a hot mess around my face lately. Like, girl, it's just coming and going. Nobody knows what the hell's going on. So I needed to find a way to use this and still get the same effect that I was getting before. And one day on a whim, I tried it with some of this. And guys, it was just like, oh, like the heavens open up. Girl, I heard Jesus and he was like, you got it, you got it. And I was so excited because it looks so beautiful on my skin. Like the two of these together, uh, they just mix perfectly. And you know how sometimes if you've ever played around with like different finishes, you can have a huge catastrophe on your hands if you mix like anything dewy or luminous with something that's more matte. It can just like, and it creates, oh my God, it looks so nasty. Your face can look chunky or really cakey or whatever. And the two of these don't do that. And I don't know how they don't because this one sits more matte. This one definitely sits more like dewy luminous. But the two of them together, they actually balance each other out on my skin. And I'm able to get the best sides of both. Like I get the coverage that I want from the Catrice and I get the way that it's so fluid on the skin, the spreadability, all of that. And a little bit of the staying power because it's more on the matte side. But then from this one, I get that nice lightweight feel on the skin. I get the dewiness of it, but not too dewy because it's balanced with this. And again, it has a nice like spread to it. And just everything about the two of these mixed together has been working with me so, so well. And guys, I guess the moral of the story here is that I just, I don't even know how to recommend these to you because my skin type is just so cattywampus right now. But as someone who has like kind of combo skin, I need a little bit more coverage. And I've really been wanting to play around with the level of coverage and the level of dewy and just get to really have a lot more control over how my skin looks on like a natural spectrum. I have been thoroughly, thoroughly loving and enjoying this combo, but I did do a full review on this collection, their entire Pretty Fresh line. If you want to check it out, I'll link it up there for you. Um, it has the primer, the spray, and this in it, and the sponge, so you can check that out if and you're curious, but guys, big win. Now along those same lines, this is another product that I did love before and I've mentioned it like a few months ago in a favorites video and then I put it away. I never thought about it again until recently because my skin, like I said, it's been being all kinds of crazy and I was thinking, okay, hello Paige, let's like logically think this through. If your skin is going through like this really enjoying like the, you know, the luminous dewy side of things, maybe it would enjoy a little bit more cream product, right? So I pulled these out of the drawer and girl, I'm telling you, oh, I have not been the same. My skin looked so freaking good. These ColourPop blush sticks, oh my word. I loved them before, but I love them all over again now. So this one right here is the shade 25.8. I've been using this one a ton. And then this one, I think I used the other day. Oh my God, this is in the shade Pretty Thing beautiful beautiful it's more of like a magenta kind of color to it and then last but not least the one that I have here is the shade cool it now this one for me is kind of like the in-between of those two colors it's lighter but still more mauvey and I've been really loving all three and out of the three I feel like I've been using this middle one here the most just because it does show through like my powders and all of that more so if I'm in a hurry and I don't want to have to apply creams and powders and then a blush and then and then and then you can just really apply this and build this up on your 
your cheek and it looks beautiful and you can really see it and it's stunning and I just I love all three of these they're absolutely gorgeous um, especially with this foundation combo and then I'll also include this little guy right here and this is the star bright highlighter and this I did not expect to enjoy as much as I have been but putting this like look at that oh my god so good I actually apply this with the beauty sponge and I'll take a sponge I'll just grab this one here and I'll actually just like take it and do one of these and then like pop 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 and it looks so so good what I love about this one is that even after you swatch it like look at that it's so beautiful the way that it sits on the skin it almost feels like it has some sort of like an oily type base even though it really doesn't like it's not an oil factor to it but it has that type of slip to it to where it just melds in perfectly and I'll take it and I'll just kind of rub it on like a sponge right here and then I'll just press it all over my high points I can go on from there again I can apply highlight over top I can leave it alone I can do anything I want really with with it but it works so beautifully on my skin and I love all of these because they don't emphasize my texture they don't cause me any issues with powder later on or anything they last they look beautiful and I love them I just love them the next item is actually something I've been applying over top of the ColourPop highlight stick and that is this right here from flower beauty this is their shimmer and strobe highlighting palette it's the one that normally comes with a brush right here but this is so beautiful I use this shade right here which I did swatch by the way the lighting right now is awful because it's so dark outside um, and I but I swatched it on my hand right here and it's just it, this this does not do it justice This is a beautiful beautiful highlight trio at the drugstore if you are curious you're looking for one It is beautifully milled. It is so fine. The consistency is just like it is on point and I really really enjoy it and again I use that shade down there and lately because of how I've been wearing my makeup and stuff I've been doing a lot more with the sponges and I'll actually just take the sponge and kind of lightly run it through there and I'll tap it all over the high points of my face and it just presses in because the consistency is so nice and so thin and fine and it's just like oh it's so so nice I highly recommend this from the drugstore highly recommend now while we're on this flower beauty train I also want to throw something else out there that I have been using a ton lately and that is this brush also from flower beauty I don't know what it's called I will make sure all of this is linked down below but this is the softest fluffiest like most <laughs> kind of brush I don't even know how to describe it but I have been using it so so much like we're talking every day girl I got to set my face I'm like doot, 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 because it's so nice like it has a light dome on the top but it's also so wiggly like this reminds me of a gigantic like if you took a fluffy crease brush and you blew it up that is what this looks like to me there really is isn't much to say about it it's soft I like it I love the way it wiggles the way it jiggles girl the way it does its thing I love it and I would totally buy another one like I just I love this. this is a great brush highly recommend and the last thing on my lips is of course another lip item I told you guys earlier I love 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 lip items like I just I can't get away from them I think they're fantastic and I've been really into not only balms and lip masks and all of that but also into lip oils and I know that that's super odd I tested one out from Florence by Mills when I did the full face of all that new stuff by Millie Bobby Brown I'll link it up there um, and when I did that video there's a lip oil in it and I really really liked it but it got me on this hunt for like girl there has to be a more affordable lip oil out there because not everybody wants to be spending this kind of coin on a lip oil and guys I found a good one like a really really nice one it is from Neutrogena it's right here this is the part of their N by Neutrogena um, line and it is their sheer smooch lip oil and it is infused with a bunch of stuff you have um, sunflower seed oil jojoba oil this is in the shade I'm blushing I have another one over here somewhere that's like a darker purple they all look very similar though because they're such a light tint like I'm gonna show you do you even see color like no you don't because there really isn't any and this is actually supposed to be a color but for me what I love about these is the way that they sit on your lips it's so so thin and it's way more affordable than so many of the other ones and a uh, fun fact by the way this was actually supposed to be an entire video I went to Walmart I bought a bunch of stuff I was gonna do two different videos and long story short it was a complete disaster and uh, this was one of the only highlights out of what was supposed to be a very exciting day so I'm really glad that I found it I really like it if you're into lip oils I definitely think you should give it a shot because girl she nice but all right you guys that is it for my month and favorites I hope that you like this video let me know down below what were your month and favorites what are the things that you have been gravitating towards if you haven't checked me out on Instagram and on Twitter those are both linked in the description I am going through and uh, doing some more fun like plus size fashion-y kind of things I'm gonna get more into photography over on my Instagram and of course I like to stay up to date with you guys every day in my insta stories so if you don't follow me in either of those places you should definitely do so again they are linked down below but you guys the most important thing of all if you like me you like my style and you would like to subscribe 
subscribe, stick around. I would greatly appreciate it. I do put up five videos a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and they go up bright and early every single day between 6 and 7 a.m. my time here in good old northern Michigan. And you guys, that is it. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please do not forget to have a great day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh. <laughs> anybody else just I can't get over this like now <laughs> that you guys are like wow the video is over and what is Paige still doing this that's what Paige is still doing can't help myself because when it comes to a balm like this for because when I, <laughs> I do my head toss check my nails baby how you doing